But on this album, Have You Lost Your Mind Yet? I thought, you know what? I need to write about people. I need to stop being scared. And stop, you know, writing about these big topics, which is great. And it's a little bit easy, but what about the people that I know? How are we being affected every day by all this information? How are we, how are we being affected every day dealing with the internet and social media and like our value system of how many followers do I have? Oh my God, did people like my picture? Like in people feeling like that makes who they are. And how are we dealing with the fact that we, we were, you know, it's like, hey, police executed black man over here. And we're like, okay, cool. Yeah, Black Lives Matter, yeah, cool, yeah. Oh, how are we dealing with, with um, a shooting? In Texas, 25 people. We're like, oh, really? Let me drink my coffee, okay. 25 people dead, I get it. How are we dealing with human beings being caged at the, at the border? Like we're ingesting all this stuff. Those are human beings, by the way. Those are children, by the way. So I was thinking, how is this really affecting us? Because we are human beings. If we break down all this stuff in society, we're people, man. We're human beings. And I think that all this stuff is affecting us and it felt like this kind of mental illness. Not the mental illness where you see the homie on the street talking to himself. No, that's easy. I'm talking about this mental illness of apathy, of, of accepting these conditions that, are, that are, are smashed and forced upon us. Every day we get on, every day we aren't, you know, and we're just, what is it doing to us and how is it affecting us individually? And that's why I called the album, Have You Lost Your Mind Yet? And it was very timely, as my albums always are, when there's a quarantine, Have You Lost Your Mind Yet? I was like, hmm kind of video could I make? So I took the video Chocolate Samurai and I outsourced it to the world, to Mexico, to Brazil, to Argentina, to South Korea, to Japan, to Turkey, to Australia, to New Zealand, France, Germany, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, all these places, South Africa. And I wanted people to get involved in what you were saying, like what is this um, very, what is very therapeutic? that we get involved with something. And that's how I came up with the video, Chocolate Samurai, because the, the opening line is, have you lost your mind yet? Get free tonight. You know, the whole world is watching. My people, my teachers, my soldiers, get free tonight. And it was beautiful to me. And it gave me great joy in quarantine, just watching everybody sending their videos from all around the world in this global unity. Well, I, man, I'll tell you, there's nothing I love more than people getting along. It, it almost, it, it makes me choke up when I see people getting along. That's my favorite thing. And um, so, yeah, this, this music, this art, this expression, this communication is extremely therapeutic. And it was, that's why I call what I do Black Roots music, because it was therapeutic from the day we were in the fields. And what people call the blues and all that, I remember my grandmother, she's from Southern Virginia. And she was always like, honey, white people thought we were sad. We weren't sad. <laughs> I was like, that was therapy. We're singing those hymns, singing those spirituals out there under the blazing sun. Our children being ripped away from us, sold, you know? And then knock on the door and somebody comes and takes your woman for the night. You know, families being deconstructed. And I think that all cultures as I traveled this world, man, music is it. I've traveled in Istanbul. I've been in Buenos Aires and uh, Mexico City and all these amazing places in the globe that within these, the culture, the music is the therapy.